the players, Jay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thanks. Now I can't see anything, Jay. Your head is blocking the light. Oh. Pass the screwdriver. Now hold the end of the wire to the top of the battery. That's it. It won't shock me. No, electricity in batteries like this is too weak to shock you. Oh. It's not working. Of course it's not working. I'm not an idiot. One more flight. Yeah. Here. Oh no. It's locked. It's Coco. Coco? Hmm? Coco, yeah. That's just a polite way of knocking. Oh, let me try. Cooey. This is not going to work, is it? Can't we just plug it into the wall or something? Are you crazy? That's powerful stuff in there. It could burn us badly. Someone's calling from the top of the stairs. Jay, don't let go of that screw, please. Spider. Oh, they call Jay. Frankie ah, you... Spider. Jay! They're calling for us. Ooh. I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> Please, I'm coming. It's yeah. about time. We've been yelling for hours. We didn't hear you. Vulan. We're trying to fix the doorbell so that people can buzz us from the gate without having to shout. Mm. But we can't seem to get it to work. Come on in, Frankie. Mm. That's it, Frankie. <laughs> mm, nice radio, Frankie. Yours? My baby. <laughs> he won't let anyone else touch it. <laughs> Names? Full on stereo. Um, AM, FM, shortwave, batteries and mains. Full on stereo. Sharp. <laughs> he can't stop talking about it. Cool, man. Cool. <laughs> Would you cool down, Frankie, and help me with this electric bell? I'm trying to connect the doorbell to the battery so that when you flick the switch here, mm -hmm. the doorbell will go off. Hmm. Well, explain to me how it's all been linked up together. Oh, I tried it like this first, with a wire going from the battery to the switch, mm -hmm. then to the doorbell. But then I realized you needed two wires. So now, one wire goes from the battery to the bell and then back to the battery. Hmm. The other wire goes from the battery to the switch. That's the switch, right? And then back to the battery. Hmm. The only problem is that it's not working. Hmm. I, I think you're supposed to connect the switch to the same wire that goes to the doorbell. Here, let me try. Um, look, you've got to put the switch here mm -hmm. so that when you turn it off the electricity can't get through and it stops going round the what you call it the, the, the circuit oh yeah simple and there now you connect it to the battery and it should ring now mm. well um put your finger uh. in just hold that and <sighs> well thank you professor hmm what do you think's wrong with it? Maybe the, the doorbell's broken. No, it's not that. My mother had a look at it, and she says the doorbell's fine. Maybe the switch doesn't work. Uh, take the switch off the circuit and see if the doorbell works then. Mm. No, it's not that. Maybe the battery's flat? Frankie, you've got batteries in your radio. Sure I have. But don't ask me to take it out. You know what happens. You take them out, and the next thing you know, they're flat. Oh, come on, Frankie. Hm. Never. Forget it, Ayanda. Maybe it's not that it's flat. Maybe it's just not strong enough. Maybe we need a battery with more power in it. Listen, I think there's one or two batteries lying around at my place. That's ah. it. Well, come on. What are we waiting for? Yeah, what's that? Come, 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 come. come. Hey, hey. Hey, wait for me. Come on, Frankie. Uh, Come on, Jay. Uh, I think I saw a battery through here somewhere the other day. One of those big PP10s. Yeah. Can someone help me with my radio? Uh, it may be cool, man. But it's pretty heavy as well. Wow. You like my music machine, Spooky? Wow. Music 
Inside them. Huh? I'm going to throw them out on the pavement. It's <laughs> <laughs> even heavier than my radio. We're going to have to open them. Hey, what about a a, a lever? <coughs> Got the key, Joseph. <coughs> hmm? It needs more weight. Come on. Ah uh ah! -uh. Give me that. It's not more weight you need. Okay. You, you've got to put it in the right place. See? <laughs> what are you going to pay me, Mr. Agrippa? I've told you what I'm going to pay you, Joseph. Yes, but it's not enough. Huh? I want ten more. Ten? I'll give you five. Ten? It's dangerous work. Oh, all right, all right. Ten, then. But you better do your job right this time, Joseph. Guard the crates with your life until my buyers come here with their truck. <coughs> and make sure those interfering kids don't stick their noses in where they're not wanted. Wow! What's all this stuff? It must be stolen. Mr. Agrippa is probably storing it here till he can sell it or something. That would be just like him. Hey. Miss Agrippa. Listen. It's those plastic kids. He's going to be coming back right now. Shouldn't we leave them before he gets back? I mean, yes, yeah. yes. And, and call the police or something. Yeah, yeah Jude. News. I knew it was you. Ah, it's my little spider friend, isn't it? But this time you're caught in your own web, aren't you? What are you going to do to us? Well, since you keep on interfering in my affairs, when will you ever learn? I'm going to have to lock you up until I have concluded my business. <laughs> ah, just what the jailer ordered. Put them in here, Joseph. Ah. <laughs> And dear children, just in case you're thinking of trying anything clever, dear boys and girls, I'm going to leave Brother Joe here on sentry duty outside. Now listen, dear Kitty Winkles. If you try to shout for help, Brother Joe will come in and stop you. Do you hear, Joseph? Yes, Mr. Gripper. And if these children cause any nonsense while I'm away, you have my complete permission to knock some sense into their heads. Do you hear me? Yes, Mr. Agrippa. Good, then I think we have everything under control. Goodbye, children. <clears throat> he doesn't know about the tunnel. Yes, oh. he does. And if you are thinking of tunneling out, don't bother. Even as we speak, Brother Joe is placing a large rock over the trap door outside. I think we have thought of everything, don't you? Well, now what? We could always listen to the radio. No, 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 Frankie. We've got to concentrate on getting out fast. I agree. Mm. But he says that they put a rock on the outside trap door. I'll check. Okay. Okay. I'll check you guys later. And we'll see whether Brajo is really guiding the doors. How are we going to do that? Mr. Agrippa locked us in, remember? <gasps> Mr. Agrippa doesn't know everything. There's more oh. than one tunnel in the warehouse. There is? Come, Jay. Follow me. Oh, okay. <sighs> Spider! Hey! I'm here! Ayanda, it 
it's too dark for me in here. Oh, Jay, close your eyes and pretend it's as bright as day. It's not far, Jay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. I'm not scared. Uh, I'm not scared. Come. It's okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, all clear. Come on. Uh, yeah. Oh, wow. We're in the lab. What now? First, we have to check on Brajo. Right. Brajo? <clears throat> oh, yes, Brajo. <clears throat> Hello? Anyone here? Oh. Ah. Oh. This must be another time. shift the trap to at all. And Rajo is standing outside the doors. So we trapped, right? Mm -hmm. So it looks like it. There has to be a way of getting out. Maybe not. But we can't let Mr. Agrippa get away with his plan. Mm -hmm. You know what I'd like to do to him? Mm -hmm. He's always frightening me. I'd like to frighten him for a change. Oh, come <gasps> on, Jay. Mr. Agrippa doesn't frighten easily, you know. Maybe Jay is right. Yeah. You know what we need to do? Mm -hmm. We need to frighten him out of his wet. Out of his socks. Out of his skin. How? I'm thinking. I'm thinking. We need to relax more. That way we'll think better. How about a bit of music? Hey, what if we all hid behind the door and jumped out at him when he came back. That would frighten me out of my skin. Hey, somehow, I don't think that would scare Mr. Agrippa. We've yeah. got to be really clever. Here. Yeah. Right. Put your hands up. Or I'll blow your heads off. That's better. No, 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 Frankie. Turn back to that program. But I wanted to... She says it's important. Listen, Frankie, hmm? can you record what's playing on the radio? Spider, this is a twin tape machine. Of course I can record straight off the air. And you've got a tape. Mm, I've got two. Ah, there it is. Record it, Frankie. Okay, right. Quickly. I'm recording. Okay. I'll explain in a moment. Keep it running. recording. Watch. Move a muscle and we'll let you have it. Now put your hands up and walk towards us. We've got nothing to lose, hey, Eddie. Let's give them hell. It's perfect. That's it, Eddie. I am Ask for it. Come with me. Will Eddie survive the bullets raining down on him? Will Herman make his date with the fast lady? Now, you guys are the experts when it comes to electricity. Experts? <laughs> We couldn't even get an old doorbell to work. Well, you are the only experts we have, so you'll have to do. What's your plan, Spider? Imagine, in half an hour's time, mm -hmm. Mr. Agrippa opens the door. Mm -hmm. A beam of light steps down at him mm -hmm. through the darkness. And a voice comes out of the air. Put your hands up, it says, and walk towards us. And then the voice says, that's it. You ask for it. Fire at will. Bang, bang, bang! It's like that movie! Exactly! The thing is, it's got to happen the moment he opens the door. Yeah. And we must be in the office, out of the way, just in case he's got a torch and spots us. That's oh. it. Mm. So it's all got to be automatic then? Mm. The door's got to switch it all on. Mm. The wire will have to come from the battery to the door. To the tape recorder mm -hmm. and the lamp. And then back to the battery again. And it'll have to work a lot better than our front doorbell. What mm. do you need? Mm. Yes. Pliers, wire. I'll mm. get them. Okay. 
Jay, look, these are the things you connect the wires to, right? So? The circuit starts here. Look, there's a plus sign on it. That means it's the positive, um, what, what? Oh. Uh, and comes back to this one, minus negative. That's why our doorbell wasn't working. We were connecting both wires to the same, uh, what's it called? Here you are. Thanks. Okay, Jay, pull off the plastic insulation at the end of the wire. Sure thing, MacGyver. Make it quick. The sun's gone down. If you see Jay and Ayanda, please tell them to go straight home. Their parents are worried about them. And I think Frankie's mother is as well. Yeah, Boma. Spider, it's getting too dark to see. I need a little light. I just hope Brajo doesn't notice the light. Got it all, Spider. And I've worked out what your plan is. It's like in that movie. Mm. It's a great idea. Yeah. The problem is how to play just the little bits we want Mr. Agrippa to hear. Mm -mm, that's not a problem. I'll re-record what I need in the second tape. Watch. <gasps> okay, Eddie. We've got you surrounded. We've got sharpshooters on the roof. Move a muscle and we'll let you have it. Now put your hands up and walk towards us. We've got nothing to lose, hey, Eddie. Let's give them hell. <laughs> That's exactly the That's it, Eddie. <laughs> it's a pity he didn't say, okay, Agrippa, we've got you surrounded. But the rest is perfect. Although I don't think we need the bit about having sharpshooters on the roof. Watch. <sighs> okay, Agrippa. Okay, Agrippa. We've got you surrounded. <laughs> Move a muscle and we'll let you have it. Now put your hands up and walk towards us. It sounds so real. It even fooled me. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it fools Mr. Agrippa. <laughs> but I haven't finished yet. <laughs> That's great, Frankie. Oh, and Spider. <laughs> don't you just love that stereo sound? <laughs> I don't understand. How are we going to turn it on? Look, this wire comes all the way from the battery, right? Mm -hmm. And it ends here, where we've connected it to this piece of tin. Now, I've connected the end of the other wire to this bit of tin. If the two bits touch, then the electricity will flow right through our circuit. But we won't let it. See? Between the pieces of tin, we'll put this piece of cardboard. We've got to do that carefully, so that the pieces of tin aren't touching at all. Oh, but why is there a bit of string between the cardboard and the bottom of the door? So that when Mr. Agrippa opens the door, the string will pull the cardboard out from between this piece of tin. They'll touch. And the circuit will be complete. The lamp will come on. The radio will come on. And Mr. Agrippa will think he's been caught red-handed. Well, that's what we hope he'll think. It's like what we were making at home, in a way. It's exactly the same. Except this time, I hope we've connected it all up properly. Hello. Max? Max, is that you? Good. We'll be ready for the trucks in half an hour. Make sure they're there. Right? <laughs> Hurry up, Sissy. We have to finish. Well, that's the lamp done. We need Frankie's radio. Yes, you're right. Spider! Eh? 
We need Frankie's radio. I'll get it. Hurry. Frankie, they need your radio. Radio coming up. Hurry up. Mr. Agrippa could be here any minute now. Okay. Oh, here he comes. Put it here. Hello? Is that you, Bracho? Mr. Mkiza? Good. Uh, Bracho, you haven't seen Jay and Ayanda, have you? They should have been home an hour ago. Must be with that white kid. Oh, Frankie. Mm. Oh, yes, you're right. I'll keep an eye open for them. Uh, thank you, Bracho. What did that man want? Sure, to work. Should do, Spider, unless I've got something wrong. Ayanda, nearly finished. Huh. Quickly, Jay, drop okay. this end around the terminal thing. Okay. Ah. There. That's there it. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> the truck will be here any minute, Joseph. Any howls from the children? Nothing, Miss Agrippa. Good. And they're managing to keep out of my way at last. Let's bring the stuff out. They're coming in. I've just got to make certain. We've connected the door to the switch and to the lamp and the radio and to the battery and then back to the switch. Okay. 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 I'm done. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Come on, Joseph. The key. The key. Jojo. The light. Okay, Agrippa, we've huh? got you surrounded. Huh? Move a muscle and we'll let you have it. It's now the put police. your hands up and walk oh. towards us. Remember the show. Run! I'm running, Mr. Agrippa. <gasps> we, we did, did it. it! We did it! We, we threatened them out of their skins! <laughs> well, it was my idea. What? What I can't understand is why Brajo was working for Mr. Agrippa again. He knows he's a crook. And old Joe, he's not so bad, you know. Deep down. <coughs> it's the money, I suppose. When you're hungry, you don't always ask what's right and what's wrong. What are you going to do with all those batteries and things? The police took them away this morning. Oh, yeah. Hmm. And what happened to the people who were meant to collect them last night? Mr. Agrippa won them in good time. <sighs> there, it's done. <gasps> This time, we've got it right, I think. Yeah. For one thing, we've got a stronger battery. We've connected one wire to one of the terminals on the top of the battery. The wire goes to the switch and then onto the doorbell. The wire from the doorbell goes back to the other terminal on the top of the battery. Now, when we turn on the switch, the doorbell should ring. Yes! Yes, it works! Brilliant, you did it! Wow! Spider's comic and video shop. Hey, this is all about us. It's all about Spider's Play. Here's me. There's a comic, a video, and an audio cassette for each of our adventures. And we buy them from you? Sure. Or write to Handspring Trust at 1 Magnet Street, Kensington, Johannesburg, 2094. Hmm? Mm-hmm.